Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to MDLR Fishing. Got a vlog style video for y'all today. Decided to take the day off. Uh, did a edit right there. That's about to be loaded up for y'all to watch. So by the time you're watching this one, you've already seen that one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I've got to get to a tackle store. You see this right here? That, I need some of those single point hooks uh, for these right here those are what i am using out there at the jetties and okay so here they go right here these are the current hooks that i'm using i don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that but that right there is what i'm currently using uh, to catch the jacks and then i also want those single point hooks to go on this right here <clears throat> Uh, this is where I got the hook. So I took the rear one off and I'm gonna just compare it because I want to use them for these over here. I mean, that's not too bad. That's like a, a double hook right there, but I would still prefer to have the single points. And then also for my Halco, the top water popper, uh, those hooks just look vicious. And if I can put some single points on there, it's gonna make going out there in the open water once the winds lay low i will be able to do that so that is on the agenda i'm not too sure if academy is going to be open or any of the tackle stores like uh, bass pro cabela's and then we also have another small tackle store here that's close by because they're non-essential and we've got the whole coronavirus going on as well so you gotta stay safe right now we're on our way to ups to deliver that package right down there it's some sleeves from columbia to protect my arms from the sun when we're out there uh, reason why i got those is because check this out i want to wear shirts like this it's i've launched my own uh merchandise line if you will uh, I've opted to do it all myself rather than have it fulfilled by people like Teespring. Um, they really don't, they, I think they take advantage of creators and uh, what they do is basically fulfill everything for that creator's channel and uh, yeah, for a small channel like mine, uh, I just it, it's not a perfect fit. So I want to start selling these if y'all want to support a retired Marine Corps veteran and help the channel out by purchasing this merchandise. You can find it on Facebook. I'm going to link it down below in the description of the video. Uh, you can get shirts like this right here and uh, some of the other ones that I have uh, purchased designs to be made by a graphic designer. Um, yeah, I definitely would appreciate it, but let's get inside UPS and uh, deliver this thing so that I can return those sleeves because I purchased the wrong size. I gotta buy some larger ones. So uh, let's get this thing ready to go. <laughs> oh yes, it looks like we're in luck. Academy is open. The governor said something about he promotes outdoor activities so long as you practice social distancing. So uh, keep that in mind for those of y'all that wanna go out there fishing to the jetties it's been open this whole time you just got to make sure that you don't go out in large groups and attract so much attention that it becomes like a sore thumb and then that's it we lose that privilege to be able to go fishing during this horrible time but right now we're going to go inside there and see if we can find those hooks well it's kind of a bummer that they didn't have the hooks that i needed that's what i went in there in the first place for uh <laughs> i end up coming out with a hundred and fifty two dollar price tag but i did need a lot of things uh, so uh, it's good to know that academy is taking this uh, coronavirus seriously they're only letting in 35 customers at a time and they've got everybody especially in line uh, distanced out and they've got signs throughout the store so pretty cool that we're still able to purchase our outdoor goods Okay, now we've got to meet up with our bro Chacho Nick. We're here at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, he picked up an old 18 rod for me. It's a brand new one and uh, it's a spinning setup. 
that I'm trying to create. I purchased another Luz spinning reel. It's the uh, 4000 series, just waiting for that to come in. Uh, I am just like seriously impressed with the uh, bait casting setup and I'm like, man, what if we had a proper jetty setup to actually go out there with? And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So let's go inside there, meet him. Also try and find those circle hooks that I couldn't get at Academy. <laughs> what's up, bro, oh, what's Chacho? Up, what's up? Social distancing. Yeah, the social distancing. <laughs> that's the fake knuckle bump right there. So check it out. Where is it at, brother? That looks pretty small. Not uh, bad. That's not what she said. <laughs> check it out. That right there is a 7.3 medium power fast action tip. And boy, it looks so sleek. I can't wait to get the uh, fishing reel in. What else we got? Oh, snap. This is a prototype. Oh, that's a prototype. <laughs> we got a prototype inside there, so we'll hold it backwards. But uh, just to let y'all know what's inside there, I've got the new Hydra bugs plus also some flats bugs. And I needed some clickbait, but you all purchase everything from Heath. There's and in there. oh, there's clickbaits in yeah, here? Not the, not the color that I want. But still, it works. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. So what you gonna do? I have to go to work later. I'm working the evening shift, but uh, yeah, just hanging out, man. Enjoying uh, enjoying the social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> just FYI, this is six feet away, okay? His, 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 his lens is that good where it looks like I'm, I'm closer than that, but we're six feet away. That's the Sony G Master for you people. <laughs> I, I spend quality money to give y'all the best picture possible. Awesome that Bass Pro is open, huh? Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy. What's the matter, little beady girl? How are you doing? Come here. How are you? You wanna say hi to everybody? You wanna say hi to everybody? All right, let's get inside the fish lab and we'll take a look at everything we just purchased. Here we go. There it is. That is a whopping $152. My God, things get expensive really quick. Uh, so we've got some covers for the bait casters. We got four of those guys. And then we got spinning reel covers to protect those whenever we're in transit. We got two of these. There's another bait caster one. And then I also bought some socks or gloves to protect the rods and keep the lines from getting tangled with each other. So we got two of these for spinning rods and then three or four of them. I could have swore I bought like four of them for the bait casters. We got some uh, fishing line for the bait caster and then also some swivels. Uh, the reason why I got more fishing line is because this bad boy right here, the Pro TI, that right there, when y'all heard me talking uh, at, at the jetty, uh, describing how the, uh, the jack was almost gonna spool me, it was because I've got probably about 90 yards of 20 pound braid loaded on that fishing reel, and it's backed with 10 pound monofilament. Uh, I am thinking, let's unspool it, and we're gonna just spool it with straight braid, 20 pound straight braid, and we'll never run into that type of an issue again. And uh, so that's what I got the 20 pound for, plus we're also waiting on the uh, Custom Pro, the spinning reel from Luz. It's the uh, Custom Pro Speed Spin. This one's a 1000 series and I'm waiting for the 4000 one to come in and uh, that's what the other spool of 20 pound Power Pro is for because I'm gonna just load it up with straight 20 pound braid. However many yards we can get on it is going to work. Fast forward now to one week later, check it out what we've got here. This is the brand new jetty setup that I was talking to y'all about, the new Custom Pro came in. Let me set y'all down right there. All right, 
So the fishing reel came in and it is now spooled and ready to go. Voila, check that out. It's a Custom Pro 4000 and the old 18 medium power rod. Um, we've got it spooled with 20 pound power pro 300 yards to the like exactly that's what fits on here so we are ready to go and launch some one ounce spoons i'm pretty sure i can launch a two ounce with this but i'm gonna try to primarily stick to the one ounce i control with the two ounce uh, there's just way too much flex in the tip of this medium power rod it's like a fast action tip so what's going to happen right now is old 18 is going to design me a new rod with a bit more backbone and uh, i'm going to ask them to put a foregrip right here like some eva foam and then maybe if they can extend the handle the butt of the rod to probably like maybe four more inches so that it doesn't kill my underarm because whenever y'all saw me fighting the jack with this setup right here it's the pro ti from lose and the hollow point uh this was digging into my underarm and it's still tender and sore and it was jabbing me in the belly because i was just trying to figure out a way to get some grip um very capable but again primarily designed for bass fishing is what this is but the strength and muscle of a darn gorilla unchained from the zoo um so we're still trying to search out the proper jetty setup uh, for the spinning side of things and uh, this guy is definitely going to uh, fit the bill what i wish i could have is a new uh, like the trucker style ball, uh, the the oversized ball knob that you use on some of the fishing reels that are out there for salt water. That would be perfect so that whenever I'm fighting them. But nevertheless, we're making progress with our setups. So this guy and this guy right here, these are going to be the two that will constantly go with me out there to the jetties whenever I decide to fish them. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for tagging along on today's adventure. I really appreciate it. I know a lot of y'all primarily want to see fishing videos, but I got to take days off. And uh, I also need to just mix up the content a little bit. I'm going to be trying to bring in a lot more vlog style in between my days of fishing, just to give y'all an idea of what it is that I am doing and what's going on at the home front so if it's your thing then thank you so much for continuously watching them if it's not your thing then just pass up whenever you see in the title vlog that's gonna cue you to uh to know that it's not a fishing video so the thumbs down they really hurt but i mean if you're a hater and you want to know what's going on in my world then by all means, continue watching and hit the thumbs down. It still supports me with one view. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Until next time, everyone, Timelines. lines.